Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. So in this episode here, we're at Cobblestone again, and we're gonna be going to talk to the, um, the main character's... The main character's, uh, mother. So that's gonna be at home, which is all the way to the east side. So let's head there. Now, if you remember the uh, the the uh, castle, Heliodor Castle soldiers were about to destroy this place. So let's see what uh, our mother has to say. Is that you, dear? I'm cooking your favorite stew. It'll be ready any minute now. You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Well, set the table and I'll just give it a last little stir. Whoa! Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? What nonsense are you talking? My boy is six years old. Who do you think you are, waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not? Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant. Don't make me say it twice. Okay, so it appears that we went back in time, and that little girl crying by the tree is Gemma, when she was little, which means our main character is little as well, uh, once we go see him. So we talk to Gemma here, and she says her he headscarf is uh, stu stuck in a tree. If you remember, we, we got it from her before, um, when she was talking about it earlier Thank in the game. You, mister. Gemma, who are you? But that can't be right. Oh wait, I get it. That's not your name. You mean you're looking for him, right? He went to look for Chalky. Come on, follow me. <laughs> He went to look for Chalky. Come on, follow me. So uh, we're following Gemma, and we're gonna see our little kid self. I know where he is already. She, all the way down here, where Grandpa is. There they are. Dad, can I borrow your ladder? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off and now it's stuck up a tree. <laughs> well, we can't be having that now, can we? Let me go and find it for you. Hmm? We don't need the ladder anymore. That nice man over there got my headscarf down for me. He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. I think it might be me he's looking for, you know. Why don't you two run along and play and leave us grown-ups to talk? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it. I've known you since you were a baby, after all. I knew it was you right away. 
But you don't look too happy, my lad. Care to tell you, old granddad, what's on your mind? I see. So, you're from a future where I'm no longer around. Well, well. And King Carnelian went and threw you in the dungeon? And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything, instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that, hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. Oh. Oh, but what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grown up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. Always saw me, right? Bye now. Okay, so before we head um, out of town, we're gonna have to head back to the church and we're, we have to get an item these, uh, at the church. So I'll meet you guys there. Uh, let's break this pot actually. Oh, 11 gold coins. Not bad. I guess. Every penny counts. <laughs> Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play any time you like. <laughs> it's ages till I gotta go home. What should we play now? Well, we could play, um... Are you okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. I can't believe they do this. And just because you grew up here? What kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing, and so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it... Wow. So you... you went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... and yourself? That is seriously weird. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on.
Yes, sir, Eric. So it appears these uh, plants, these weird plants that we touch, um, have the power to make us go back in time, it seems. So this is the church that's now ruined. This is the present place. Oh, holy night. And now we can make temporary uniforms now. So that's uh, useful. We can also sleep in that bed. And the priest should be somewhere out there, so we'll talk to him in a second. Alright, so let's go talk to the, piece, to the priest and save our game. Alright, so once you save your game, let's head up north and let's head to the Emer Emerald Coast. We can actually get an item there. And we're gonna ring the bell so we get our horse and we can travel faster. So we don't have to run all the way there. So I'll just ring this one. And let's go! This reminds me of uh, Legend of Zelda. Faster travel on the horse. Oh, I guess Witcher has it too. Okay, there's supposed to be an item somewhere around the Emerald Coast. Here it is. Let's grab this. Uh, we got five Perfectionist Pearls. That's the item I remember getting before. Oh, here we are, Emerald Coast. So I think we might have some new encounters here. Let's press square, let's check the sparkly spots. So we have all these sparkly spots to get. Oh, man. That's a lot. There's actually one right in front of us. So we can go and grab this one. Oh, the thing that sucks is the horse can't jump. It can't gallop. And we get fresh water for that. Okay, so we'll um, do the cutscene first and then we'll grab the rest of the sparkly spots. Letters, huh? The top one there has seen better days, that's for sure. My dearest, darling baby boy. When finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms, and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escape to safety. If you are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the King of Heliodor when you come of age. Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations, and your father and I would trust him with our lives. Never forget, my son, you are a prince of the Kingdom of Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the Luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. But it is the only way I only hope that one day, you will learn to forgive me. It's from someone important to you, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? To my dearest grandson. I haven't the foggiest how you managed it, but I met your future self today. As promised, I've buried some things here that will help you on your way. Have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the King when the time came. I only wish I'd known how things would turn out. 
I don't know why Dundrasil was attacked, or why King Carnelian thinks so badly of you. I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. But I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. The keystone in this box will open the door of departure off to the east. You must go out into the world and seek the truth. Remember now, don't waste your time bearing grudges and live life with love in your heart. All the best, now and forever. Grandad. <sighs> So we use the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. You said it was just east of here, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, I know what we're waiting for. I've got some unfinished business to attend to. The orb. The King's Barrow's not too far from here. Just down the way, in fact. Let's go claim what's rightfully mine. Yeah, let's go claim. Let's go claim what's rightfully ours. All right, sparkly spots. Uh, let's. We have three to the beginning of Heliodor region, but since we're not heading to Heliodor region, let's just go there first, and we'll grab those uh, sparkly spots and get them out of the way, and then we'll make a U-turn and head out the other way. So the first sparkly spot was here, we don't have this one yet, and that's the pink pine. Now there was two more, so one was probably near this path, I, th I think, yep, there it is right there, anti-dolt herb, and the other one's right behind that tree right there, and I think that's all of them for this part over here. So let's check the map. Okay, that's all of them. Now the nearest one to us is going to be in the... Uh, Right across from the King's Barrow, actually. All the way across. So, we'll just head back and cross this uh, bridge over here. Oh man, I love the horse. It makes traveling so, so easy on the world map. That's one thing I love about JRPGs. Is they give you um, a big world to explore, but they also give you like... Airships and... Horses or boats to traverse... Through the big open world. Instead of the modern games where it's just fast travel everywhere. I like this, it's more uh... I don't know, you feel like you're more into the adventure. That's what I like about old school art JRPGs. Alright, so there's three uh, sparkly spots in front of us there. So we'll grab the one to the far right first. If I remember right, it should be... Where is that one hiding? Oh, it's over here, okay. So that's the water sedge. It, now there's one right in front of us. That's gonna be this. That's gonna be three in one, actually. So we'll grab all that cotton top. Mm, cotton top. What was the first one? I missed it. Oh well. Now we go sparky spot. One's in front of us here. And then we have a campfire, so that's gonna be good. So let's uh, grab the stuff we need here buzzberry, sparkly sap, and furry feather. Okay, great, 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 great. Yeah. Oh, there's a new enemy. Oh, we can actually ride those ones. Um, inside the King's Barrel, there's a special one that we can ride. Um, when they sparkle, it means you can ride them. But none of these are sparkling. Uh, and we need an achievement for riding as well, which I'll probably have to explain again anyway. So let's... We won't worry about those enemies right now because we're gonna... Um, I'm gonna encounter them in the King's Barrel anyway. So, let's see... Okay, I think we got all the sparkly spots. Nope, we're missing two of them, actually. But we can't go that way yet, to the door of departure. You know what, let's get the one by the bridge. There's also an item that we're missing as well. So, instead there's one by the bridge, which I think I can at least grab this one. Yeah, it's right down here. Okay. Okay, maybe we should fight the crab, at least. Yes, let's fight the crab. Here. We'll fight this. 
Oh, we got three shells. Okay. Do you have a Pokeball so I can catch it? <laughs> it looks like... They look like Pokemon in this game. <laughs> Spells. Uh, oh, I can... Yeah, I should probably be using my... Uh, I should probably be uh, getting some experience so I can learn some better spells. I think Sis can attack all monsters at once. So that would be a useful one. To learn. I don't I don't remember what level I learned it at. Alright, let's finish all these guys off. I should probably just use my abilities. Kill it faster. But I was hoping I can get a better some? 200 sword. <laughs> Zill level increases level 8. Oh, there it is! Sizz! That's what I was looking for. Awesome. Okay, so actually we can increase our attack power now. But it's only for great swords. So, uh, so it's not, I'm not going to be... It's not going to be useful for me right now. Since I'm, since I'm just using a sword. Cutting edge and critical hit chance. Okay. Eric needs to get more. Eric needs to get more points. Sun bleach sea seashell. So here's the three items we got from the rock. And here's the sun beach bleached seashell. A once vibrant shell, blanched bone white by the scorching seaside sun. What does this even do? You just sell it? Is it a material? Oh, it's a material. So maybe use for crafting? Can't continue this way while I'm mounted. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get off my horse for a second. While I explore over here. Because I believe there's a recipe over here, so it's kind of important that I explore here first. It might be in a book. I believe. Let's break the pot first. And get 13 gold coins. There's no book here? I thought there was a recipe. I thought I remember um, getting a recipe here. Okay, it's back to our horse, but we're gonna fight Krabby now. Let's go fight Krabby. Kingler. Pikachu, Thunderbolt. Half inch. No! Failed! Alright, alright. You wanna play like that, huh? You wanna play like that? Take this! Ha 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 ha! He's hiding! <laughs> what happens if I half inch him? Can I get it? Oh my god. You always fail me, dude. Always. What? Half inch? Hey, I got it! Tortoise shell. What happens if I attack you from behind? Can I uh, do full damage on you? Let's see. Let's test. And there, no, that was pretty weak. I don't think it matters. Ha, easy. All right, we're gonna save our game, and we're gonna hit the fun size forge. All right, guys. So if you watched uh, my recent video I just put up, I already crafted something. I crafted the Templar uniform plus three, which was for my. Uh, Forge video to show you guys the five minute trick of how to avoid the five minute trick. And we can talk to this guy at the camp and we can go to buy and we can actually buy a broadsword off him if you want. And this is a great sword, well suited to those skilled in the arts of blade swinging. Nice, nice, nice. That's it's not plus three or anything, but I mean, this the fact that it's a great sword is gonna play an important role for me. Because I'm on the greatsword path. So I'm gonna buy one of these babies right here. Okay, now here's the temporary uniform that I made for Eric. So it increases his uh, defense and his charm. Nice. So we'll equip that on him. And I can buy him a helmet, which I'll probably do. So if I put this uh, broadsword on, 
my defense isn't go down because I'm gonna have to unequip the uh, shield. Okay, so I'm curious to try this out. Hopefully, it uh, ends up being a pretty good weapon. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna buy the pointy hat for Eric. So I'll give him this, Eric. Uh, we have to put something away. The hat? Yeah, it's way better. Okay. I think we're equipped enough now. So let's go uh, save our progress here. And then we'll be, be on our way. Let me look at the map here. Uh, those sparkles ones I can't get till after. The last two there. Okay, so we need to get a tr we need to look for a treasure chest with um should be it might be on the opposite side. All right, so we want to head up here and on the map here you can see here's where I am. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see. Talk to this cow because he's a part of the weather achievement, I believe. We want to climb up here from that cow and we want to get this treasure chest right here. Which is gonna give us Hardy Hide. Alright, now we're off to the King's Barrow. So I'm gonna look at my map. And it's just right there. We just have to follow this path and make a right turn up those uh, stairs right there. And then we'll be at the King's Barrow. Yeah, and we're gonna have to ditch the horse. Alright. And as you can see a sparkly spot at the uh, far end of the King's Barrel. We're going to be getting that after once we get inside the building. So let's go in here and break these pots. See what items we can get. Ah, we got a single file from that. Alright, here we are at the King's Barrel entranceway. What the heck happened here? <laughs>